Um, let's just explore that idea a bit further. You know, you, you said not so long ago, Western countries do not listen carefully. They are full of themselves. They think they know everything. Mm. Sounds like you are rather frustrated in your relations with what are supposed to be some of your closest partners in, in Western capitals. Well, they are our, our close partners, but they should uh, avoid, like, like this one of saying, tying aid to uh, promoting homosexuality, I can tell you many African people will not accept it. That's, um, and, and it will be a very big mistake. What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. I want to share this video with you all because Africa is sending the message, not only to you, not only to me, but the rest of the African descendants of slaves, as well as those black Americans and Europeans who are out here and how they are standing on the ground of moral values, standing on their spirituality and defending their children's future behind this whole agenda that's pushed upon Africa. Check the video out and I'll be back. In our country, we will have our morals. We will protect our children. And we are making this law. We are making this law for ourselves. We are making this law for our children. We are making this law for the children of our children. This country will stand firm. In a solidarity march against homosexuality, as they headed towards the Kololo independence grounds to take part in the national thanksgiving prayers and to thank the president for signing into law the anti-homosexuality bill. We go, we go, we go, we go, we go, we go, we go. The packed Kololo independence grounds erupted into a celebration as President Museveni arrived and was received by the heads of the different religious denominations. Speaking on behalf of the Interreligious Council, the Mufti of Uganda, Sheikh Shaban Mubaje, thanked the president for not succumbing to Western pressures to discard the anti-homosexuality bill. He also said that the Interreligious Council is under attack for supporting the move. As the Interreligious Council of Uganda, we have also suffered the cut of aid worth US dollars 3.5 million fund meant for HIV prevention. Other religious leaders joined in to lead the country in prayer in a show of strength and solidarity. As we pray, O oh God, for peace of heart, help us practice a personal approach to assist our sons and daughters who have been led astray in this vice of homosexuality. So marriage is between a man and a woman, nothing more, nothing less. We must remain obedient to the Holy Bible and the Holy Quran. In his speech, President Museveni accused Western countries for allegedly attacking African culture. They are attacking our culture, which is the bedrock of our survival. This is not acceptable. It is a waste of time. Before lashing out at the West for trying to order around African leaders. You do this, you do that. How can, how, how can I go into somebody's home and tell him, you do this, you do that? Bad manners. If the parliament passes this legislation pushing for life imprisonment for homosexuality, will you block that legislation? It will depend what, what the, the life sentence is, about, is for. Is it for uh, promotion, for instance, recruiting young children into that practice? by offering money. That's where the problem is. Inducement, uh, manipulating, use, using money which they collect from the West, uh, that's what I would also not like. When you speak to the individual MPs, they will tell you that across the country there is an outcry of homosexual related issues, recruitment, promotion in schools. Our children are being recruited into this immoral act. And, uh, and there is a public concern. The basic unit of society is a family. If you destroy a family, you have destroyed society. I do not agree with homosexuality in principle, like I said to you, in my church, in my culture. That's against my inner reasons why I believe in what I believe in as a culture value or as a, as a church. So when we are talking about children, in any legislation we make, 
our first point of reference is the Children's Act. So this is just being consistent with the Children's Act and uh, the three years must be looked at from that context that we are dealing with the children. What do you think? I'll say this in really short words. I feel proud that Africa still believes that there is God, man, woman, and child. I believe that because of their stance, they're sending a message so, to so many people that you don't have to bend to the Western ways. You don't have to comply to their demands. This right here is very empowering for you all to realize you live in a society, especially you, know, you all in the Western world, America, UK, Canada, that the mindset of these people who want to come after your kids and change the future Confuse your children. Take away your any opportunity for your grandkids, your great grandkids to come about. For your children to become these people who believe they are something more than what they were born. I'm saying that we need to wake up and realize there are places around this world beyond what you think America, Europe, or even Canada is all about. There are countries that stand on principles, stand on morals when it comes to the creation by the creator, the most high. Until then, if you're not willing to get out of the hot kitchen and get on back to the motherland, you stay right where you are. But for those who are seeking liberty, freedom and peace in a spiritual context, Go black to Africa. Take about it, take about it, about it, take about it, take about it.